Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to count up values from a table or query. We will count up the total number of orders that a customer has and display it on the customer form. That'll make it easier for you to see how many orders that customer has just by glancing at the customer form. We're going to use a very powerful function called dcount. Today's question comes from Roberto in Silver City, New Mexico, a gold member, which is kind of funny because he's from Silver City, but he's a gold member. Anyways, Roberto says, I'd like to be able to quickly see the number of orders, the total number of orders that a customer has when I open up the record in the customer form. Right now, I have to open up the order form and look at the number on the bottom. This would save me some time. Well, of course, Roberto, there's a way to do this. You can do just about anything in Access. We're going to use a nice simple little function called dcount to count the number of orders and display it on the customer form. Now, before we get into today's lesson, I got some prerequisites for you. Go watch these other videos. Concatenation, that's putting two strings together. Dlookup, which is the father of all the D functions. D stands for domain. All right, there's dlookup, dmax, dmin, dcount. We're going to learn today. They're all related, but I want you to go watch dlookup at least first. I'll give you the background how DLOOKUP works. I'm not going to go through all that again today. All right? And then the NZ function, converting a null value to a zero. Go watch all four of these. Pause it right now and then come back. Did you go? Are you going? Go on. Go watch it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here I am in the Tech Help free template. If you watch the other videos, you know exactly what this is and where to get it. What Roberto is saying is every time he opens up a customer record... He has to click on orders and then wait for this to load. And then he can see there's two orders for this customer, right? If he wants to see the next person, he has to click on it again. All right, that one's only got one order and so on. So what he wants is a nice quick way to see, you know, how many orders you have down here. Okay. So let's right click design view. And I'm just going to add a text box down here. So go to design, grab a text box, drop it down here. We'll call this uh, count of orders. All right, let's make it black so everyone can see it. Okay, now let's open up the properties for this guy. All right, it's text 30. I don't like text 30, so I'm going to change this to count of orders. All right, what's the control source? I'm going to zoom in, shift F2. It's going to zoom me into the zoom box. All right, it's going to be equals D count. Now, instead of looking for a single field, we're just going to count up the records however many records there are, right? All of the fields, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to use the asterisk. You can count a specific field if you want to, but the asterisk just says, just count up all the records, okay? Comma. What table am I counting the records in? Order T, right? And what's my criteria? Well, the customer ID in the order table has to be equal to the customer ID on the current form okay and if you want to avoid an error message if you have none if there are no no orders you put this inside of nz that's why we use the nz wrapper comma zero that way you'll see zero instead of an error okay all right hit okay that'll put that back here in the control source close this let's maybe i don't know put it over here make it look pretty like this let's see here get over there yeah Come on, come on, right there. Okay, all right, looks good. All right, save it, close it, open it back up. There you go, count of orders, two. Go to the next customer. There's one, there's a zero. I don't think anybody else has any orders. Okay, you can use dcount in your forms. You can use it in reports. You can use it in queries if you want to. It's very versatile, just like dlookup and dmax. One thing you should be aware of, though, is if you go in here and add an order, let's say I add a new one, okay, put some stuff in here, put a bogus couple products in here, close this, all right, this doesn't refresh unless you either manually refresh it with refresh, right, or you hit F5, okay, or you leave the record and come back to it. Now, can you have this update automatically when you close the order form? Yes, you can. I will cover that in the extended cut for the members. In the extended cut, 20 minutes long, I will show you how to put that order total right there on the button. 
instead of having a separate text box down here. It'll just say five orders, three orders, whatever. We'll refresh that count automatically. If you add or delete an order when you come back here, that number will be automatically updated. We'll talk about why you should avoid these D functions, D lookup, D count, and so on in queries. Just use them on forums. I'll talk about why. And I will show you how to use the D count function to set a maximum number of records that you can have in a related table. For example, let's say you're doing classes with students. If you want to set it so that a class can only have a maximum number of, let's say, five students in a class, you can do that either in a sub form or in a related form. So if you open up the student enrollment form from the class form and you try to add a sixth student, it'll yell at you. All right. That's all covered in the extended cut. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And if you really want to learn about these kinds of things, my Access Expert 29 class, it's two hours long. I cover all of the standard aggregate functions. You can use these in form footers, report footers, right? Sum, average, count, max, min. The domain aggregate functions, all of them. DLOOKUP, sum, count, average, max, min, all of them. Then we do a couple of things like calculating daily sales, creating a custom counter, display running sums. That's a good one. People always want to see that, how to do a running sum. It's easy in reports. It's not so easy in a form. And I make a replacement for the Excel VLOOKUP function, which is also very popular. That's an Access Expert Level 29. And you can find that on my website at the link right there. I'll put it in the link section down below. You can click on it. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.